Hello, I'm very happy being in Portugal today to meet the Secretary of State for Energy, Arthur Trindad. Arthur, we know each other since many years and we have even worked together, but today you are at the highest level in your country for energy policy. You are the Secretary of State. I know that Portugal has been very successful with renewable and has been a, a European pioneer with this energy. Could you tell us what are the successes you are very proud of in this area, renewables? Thank you very much, Jean-Michel. It's a pleasure to see you again uh, here in Lisbon. Uh, I enjoyed working to you in the past in very interesting projects, especially the ones concerning the Florence School of Regulation, an important institution in our uh, energy policy in the European Union. Regarding your question, um, one of our um, uh, most relevant uh, aspects of our success story is the fact that we are one of the countries with more renewable energy in our energy mix, in our electricity mix, and no one knows about it when they are consuming energy from the network or when they're using the network. So to speak technically, there has been no um, change uh, in uh, what people feel at home when they use the electricity system because they have more renewables. We have more than, uh, at the, in average, 55% of renewables in our power grid. There are hours uh, of the year where we have had 97% uh, of renewables and there are weeks where we have 80%. And in some cases these percentages are related to wind energy and mainly wind energy. Some other times we have hydro, wind, solar and so forth. This has shown that it is perfectly possible at a technical level for the network operators to accommodate this type of energy without the population, the domestic consumers, the, the services, the industry uh, to feel um, altered in the way they function, in the way they consume energy. So there is no technical uh, problem associated with the integration of high level of renewables into the power grid. This has been a success story for the generators in itself, for the grid operators, for the regulators and everyone that interferes in, the, in, this, uh, in this system. That is one aspect that is not uh, stressed enough when we talk about energy, because we talk a lot about costs, competition, which is very important. But uh, uh, the fact that we have mastered the technical aspects of that integration and uh, no one has uh, noted, notice it, uh, it reveals that there is no problems uh, in dealing with that or, in other words, the problems that appeared along the way were dealt with with engineering, with technological solution, with the implementation of rules and they were solved and now they are solved. So uh, uh, this is a success story, especially on that regard. Uh, and it is important for us to share this success story with other countries, to take away some sometimes uh, illegitimate uh, fears related with technological change. And it is uh, uh, also important for us to share these examples with other countries which are at the lower level of in the, uh, the industrial uh, phase in the energy system and in electricity, for example, countries that we have very good relations in Africa and in Latin America or in, in Asia for historical reasons and we, where we are partners for investment and, and uh, economic cooperation. It's very interesting to show to these countries that they can go faster towards renewables uh, without having to worry about uh, uh, the lights going on or there is a, a short uh, circuits or there is technical faults or the quality of the energy they have for the industrial process is affected. Uh, and this uh, success story has a value which is very difficult to, to, to measure, but it is uh, one of the aspects I would like to, to, to mention when, when we mention the success, which is not stressed often enough. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you for this wonderful lesson in energy policy. I wish you good luck in your position of Secretary of State. 
I also remember you that you are friends at the Foreign School, that you may visit us anytime, and even, even someday, you may come back to teach with us. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you very much, Michel. Glad to see you here.